Hey everybody, today I'm going to review the brand new Earthquake XT impact wrenches which are sold exclusively at Harbor Freight. Now these are pneumatic impact wrenches that run solely off of air, they're not a battery powered or even a corded unit. And in the Earthquake lineup, these two are going to be the most powerful in each drive size with the half inch being the smaller one, and then the extremely powerful and much larger three quarter inch version for very large applications. Depending on what you're working on, most likely one of these will work for you. Now what I want to do in this video is give you some closer up looks at these. We're going to go over the operation, but more importantly we will be doing torque testing. Now Harbor Freight is claiming some extreme torque levels with these impact wrenches. And with the half inch version, they're actually comparing it to a snap-on half inch pneumatic impact wrench that costs over $500. With this one costing roughly 25% of that, and then it has higher torque levels as far as what they're claiming, it would make it something to look at if you're in the market for an impact wrench. The three quarter inch version is coming in with some extremely high torque numbers. And I'm going to be proving that not only with dynamic torque testing, but also working torque testing. And you'll see firsthand what the power levels actually are. Here's a closer look at both impact wrenches. And as you can see from the outside, they do look very similar with the major difference being the size. Now the overall dimensions of the three quarter inch, which is going to be the larger of the two, will come in at just over nine inches high roughly eight and a half inches long and then three and a half inches wide. This unit's going to weigh seven pounds and 11 ounces, where the smaller half inch version is over three pounds lighter. It's coming in at four pounds, seven ounces, and its dimensions are eight inches high, roughly seven inches long, and then just two and three quarter inches wide. The anvil on each are known as a friction ring or hog ring anvil. They're not a pin detent and it requires no additional tools to remove or install a socket. So if you have a socket like this one, you could slide it right in place. You could then use the tool, it's not going to fly off, and once you're done, you can just grab onto it and pop it right off. Just above the trigger, you're going to notice this little plug sticking out, and this is actually going to be the directional change mechanism. It doesn't have a switch that would move left to right. This is actually going to push forward or in reverse. And when it's poked out the front, that's going to be in forward. If you push it backwards, it's going to pop out the back and then the tool will be in reverse. This will allow you to very easily change directions. However, you won't accidentally hit that as you're using the tool. On the rear of the unit, you'll notice this large red dial that has a small arrow aiming at one of three red dots. The largest of these dots, all the way on the right, will be the high torque mode. The middle dot is going to be the mid torque mode, and then the very small dot is going to be the low torque mode. These will work not only in forward, but also reverse, so if you want to limit the amount of torque that you're applying to a fastener, either installing or removing it, you can easily do that by adjusting this dial. Something to consider if you are looking at an air impact wrench is going to be the plug size not only the threaded portion, but also the portion that plugs into the air coupler. If you notice the three that I have here, they are going to be slightly different, with these two being compatible with the half inch version because they have quarter inch NPT thread, and then this one's compatible with the three quarter inch version with three eighth inch NPT thread. Now if we notice that the portion that actually plugs into the air coupler these two are going to be identical being 3 8 inch fittings and this is a much smaller quarter inch fitting which you most likely already have on your air tools. The reason I would suggest that you upgrade to 3 8 inch air fittings and then half inch air lines is for greater air flow at lower air pressures. The reason that's important, many compressors even with a regulator turned all the way up cannot achieve 90 psi at the tool when it's under load and that means you won't have maximum performance. If you upgrade your air fittings and your lines, even with keeping the same compressor, you will have much better performance. And we compare that standard quarter inch version, which are already on your air tools, to the 3 8 inch version, notice the size of the hole in the bottom. The larger hole is going to allow for a greater air flow, and it will be able to do so at much lower pressures. 
One thing that you might be wondering is how easy it is to control the speed on one of these by feathering the trigger. Now what that would allow a mechanic to do is run a nut or a bolt down without over tightening it and then they can come back with a torque wrench to tighten everything down correctly to the factory specs. Now if you have an impact wrench it's either full on or full off or you have one that does not have a very good trigger that can be very difficult to do. With the XTs, that's really not the case, and I have a half inch one already hooked up to the airline. We have 90 PSI of working pressure, and I do have this set to forward. In addition to that, I have it in speed or power mode three, which would be the max torque setting, and this is gonna be the hardest to control out of the three modes. I'll go ahead and feather the trigger now, and you can just listen to it and see how easy it is to manipulate the speed by how hard you're pressing on that trigger. So as you can hear, it's very easy to control the speed of the impact wrench by how hard you're pressing on that trigger. And if you want to use it to run something down without over tightening it, that shouldn't be a problem with these because it does work very well. For our initial torque test, we will be measuring what the maximum forward and reverse working torque is with both impact wrenches. This is going to be a total of four separate tests, two in forward, two in reverse, we're gonna take three runs and then create an average of those three runs. Now, if you notice this number at the base, that's what the torque factor is based on the nut and bolt combination we're using. And with the half inch versions, with the smaller skid mores, that number is gonna be 70. We'll take our average reading of the bolt tension, we'll divide it by 70, and that's gonna give us our torque rating. But the three quarter inch is actually gonna be a torque factor of 60. That's because the nut and bolt combination is larger and that's the number that corresponds along with that setup. What we'll do are all four runs next. We'll divide by the torque factor and then we'll know what the maximum number of forward as well as reverse torque ratings are on both impact wrenches. To do the testing, I will be using a half inch airline, three eighth inch air fittings, and then I have it set up for 90 PSI of working pressure as the tool is actually impacting. With the half inch version, I will be using two inch impact sockets. That's to go along with a two inch nut and a one and a quarter inch bolt. However, because the three quarter inch is larger and produces more torque, we actually have to bump that up to a one and a half inch bolt with a two and three eighth inch nut. Now this is going to give us extremely accurate results with the half inch version up to 1,500 foot pounds. And then the three quarter inch version, because it is a lot larger, can accurately measure torque up to 2,800 foot pounds. Now keep in mind, in between each run, I will also be changing out the lubrication on the back of the nut, on the washer face, as well as the threads with a fresh coating of R-0050 test bolt lube from Skidmore Wilhelm. This is specifically designed to work along with these units to give us very accurate results.
Okay, we just got done with our working torque testing and the numbers were very consistent with each impact. We did three separate runs at 15 seconds each in forward and reverse for both impacts. We took an average of those three runs and then we're going to divide it by the torque factor. With the half inch version in forward, it had an average of 59,833 pounds of bolt tension. Divide that by a factor of 70 because of the nut and bolt combination we're using. Its maximum forward working torque rating is coming in at 855 foot pounds. In reverse, it was more coming in with an average of 69,000 pounds of bolt tension. Divide that by a factor of 70. It gives us a max reverse working torque at 986 foot pounds. The three quarter inch is much more powerful coming in in forward with an average of 90,833 pounds of bolt tension. Divide that by a factor of 60 because of its nut and bolt combination. And it comes in with a max forward working torque rating of 1,514 foot pounds. In reverse, it had an average of 90,500 pounds of bolt tension. Divide that by a factor of 60, and its max reverse working torque is coming in at 1,508 foot-pounds. And now for a dynamic torque test to see how hard each impact actually hits with each impact of the anvil, we're going to use a Skidmore Wilhelm Digital Torque Meter Model T3000. This is a two-piece setup. This is the portion that the impact installs into. No socket is needed and it's going to give us in real time exactly how hard they're hitting. The unit at the top has three digits. It can accurately measure torque up to 1,000 foot-pounds. And this is going to show us how hard each impact's hitting in forward and reverse in all three modes. We just got done with all the dynamic torque testing and now we can see without a doubt what the actual numbers are in all three modes in forward and reverse. Now this is measuring peak dynamic torque or how hard the impact wrench can hit with each impact. And the half inch version had some impressive numbers with a maximum forward torque rating coming in at 445 foot pounds and the maximum reverse coming in at 452. But the real winner, of course, would be the three quarter inch. It more than doubled those numbers coming in with a maximum forward of 910 foot pounds and then a maximum reverse of 909 foot pounds. But I do want to stress that you should keep in mind whatever you're working on. Because if you apply this much torque to a small fastener, either installing or removing it, you could easily damage something, possibly stretching the bolt or snapping the head off. But if we use a half inch version because it doesn't have those extremely high torque settings, even though with something, let's say like a tractor trailer lug nut, it wouldn't be as effective. It most likely could still remove it, but with those smaller fasteners, because it's not applying the extreme torque numbers of the three quarter inch, you'd be a lot less likely of accidentally damaging something as you're working on it. So now you've seen the brand new Earthquake XT pneumatic impact wrenches for yourself. And currently they only have two styles of these, the three quarter inch version and half inch version. On the outside, they do look very similar and the operation is going to be the same. However, the main differences will be the overall size, weight, as well as power levels. When we did our torque testing with dynamic torque as well as working torque, the three quarter inch version is going to be much more powerful, but that's not always the best in every situation. If you're dealing with heavy equipment, maybe a tractor trailer or farm machinery, it would be ideal. But if you're working with, let's say, an automotive application, just working on vehicles, the half inch version in most cases would be a much better choice. It doesn't have those extreme power levels that could accidentally damage a fastener. If you're working on a car, because it does have the three different speed or power modes, 
you can really dial that down much lower than what you would get out of the three quarter inch version and you would be much less likely at accidentally messing something up as you're working with the impact wrench. In addition to that, because it would probably use the same sockets as let's say your ratchet or even a stubby impact wrench, you wouldn't need to carry around multiple sets of sockets or use adapters in order to get the job done. Now these are going to be available exclusively at Harbor Freight. They come with a 90 day limited warranty right out of the box. And if you do want an extended warranty, you will need to purchase that separately whenever you buy these. So if you plan on using them very much, that would probably be a smart move and it really would cover you if something happened to break later on. If you like this video, please click like. If you like my channel, please click subscribe and thanks for watching.